Greetings folks, Pockets here, back with another Pockets quick tip for EVE Online. This time we're going to look at assets and answer a question I get from a lot of new players. Unlike most MMOs, when you have an asset in a location and then you leave that location, the asset stays behind and the only way to really get it is to get it from where it is to where you need it. A lot of times on the market, things will sell. Uh, let's find something a little more common than... Uh, Faction gra gas harvesters. That was some random clicking. Let's go to ammo. Let's just do some basic ammo and I'll just get into this here. So let's do missiles, sure. Light missiles, standard, infernos. So you can see here there's within just my range, which is the region of every shore, all these places that I can buy these missiles. Various number of jumps away for various price. So the cheapest ones are about eight jumps away in Gerper, which is actually low sec. We won't go there. I think this is probably low sec as well. But so a new user might just buy the first thing he sees and then wonder where it is. So I get that a lot. Now I'm not going to go ahead and buy this because I don't want to go to Gerber and I don't want to have another missile down, but there's a few ways you can find your thing once you've bought it. So let's start with that. So let's say I bought something from the market and I opened up my inventory and it's not here. Where'd it go? First step, open up your wallet and you'll see your transactions here. I haven't actually bought anything in a while, but it'll show up here. But it doesn't tell you where it was, just that you had a market transaction. Okay, so just tax. So what we're going to do is go all the way to this first set of tabs, make sure you're in your My Wallet, all the way over to Transactions, and just both buy and sell, shirt load. And you can see here, so the last thing I bought was a few days ago, I bought Imperial Navy Radio Laser Crystals for my Stratios. I bought them for this much, I bought two of them, which cost me that much. Let's expand this out. They went from this person who sold them on the market, and I bought them in Dodixie. Uh, here's a compact micro warp drive I bought in Atlantins. At Atlantins. So first thing you can do is, okay, well, Dodixie, I know where that is. Let's go ahead and set destination. Uh, location, set destination, boom. I can go pick up my crystals if I left them behind. So that's one way. If it's something you bought recently or you remember you bought it recently, here's some stuff I sold recently and who I sold them to and where. So lots in Dodixie. All right, so that's one thing. So if you buy something you can't find it, go here. It'll be towards the top of the list if you just bought it and just uh, go get it. So that's the first step. Second thing you do, if you know you own something, but you don't know where it is, obviously this is your inventory, this is local to the station you're in, whatever you have, or your ship itself, what's on your ship, and so on. This doesn't tell me where that caracal is. Okay, so look, I'm like, well, I have one here, but I know I have at least one more caracal. Where is it? Let's pick the caracal. So if you go down somewhere on the side here, either you can go through inventory, personal assets, or it should be on your Neocom bar. If not, you can always pin it there and click on it. Look, I have stuff everywhere, but this still doesn't tell me exactly where my caracal is. So I could open these up and go, nope, not there. Nope, not there. Nope, not there. Holy crap. Right? Okay, but this is good. This gives me a list of all my things. I can narrow down by region, so everything in every shore, or by constellations, everything in the Osnins constellation, or the solar system, everything in Jans. Pretty cool there, but that still doesn't tell me where those last that last caracal is. So we got our search option. So you can see here, there's all my stuff. I can just go in here and type caracal, caracal, right there. Search. Hey, look, there's the one we know. Last dance is in here, but it looks like I have. Another caracal with the same name in Fliet, and another one with a different name in Udi. So there's how you can narrow things down. I'm like, I'm sure I have a 50 mega newton afterburners or a micro warp drive somewhere that I want for this cruiser I'm building. I do. I have two in Dodixie, just sitting there waiting, and it looks like I have one in a container. That's what this is. So this is a container. That's why it's the second drop down. I have one in a container in Fliet. Now. Think about containers just while we're here. You can't contract out of containers. You see here, I can't do a create contract because it's in a container. But these ones in Dodixie, I can do create a contract somewhere right there. So I could contract this to somebody remotely. It's why I'm kind of moving to using filters. But we'll get to, that's going to be a whole other thing once I've sorted myself out. But anyway, you can find almost anything. I know I have fireworks somewhere. Uh, no, they're not called fireworks. They are called... Let's just do that. Oh yeah, I just didn't type it. No fireworks, firework. Oh look, I've got 500 
Angels, Fireworks in Dodixie. I got a bit in Fliet. Uh, I have a Fire Tail skin because it's got fire in it. You can see it's in a container. But also in this ammo container, I have almost 6,000 more Angels Fireworks. So all sorts of cool stuff you can do. You can just search for anything. If you know you have it, you can search for all your blueprints. I don't know if he has. He has some. Blueprint. Just like that. Search. Uh, let's not put that on there. Oh, look. In Jen's, I have an Enforcer blueprint. I also have three Reaction blueprints. And I have a Shuttle blueprint. This is obviously not my blueprint guide, but yeah, so if you're missing things, you can do all sorts of things. You can look for all your charges, so you can look for uh, item groups. So that's charge, not charges, charge. There we go. And I can find all my ammo. So it looks like I have some faction ammo sitting in Dodixie waiting to be sold. Looks like I have some scripts here in Fliet, some seasonals, I even have snowballs. Look at that. Uh, Jens has a bunch of missiles, a bunch more missiles and scripts. So those are the two easiest ways to find stuff that goes missing. If you just bought it and you got to find where it is, definitely just use the wallet, go into your transactions and just find it. There we go, Dodixie, Hamilton's. Uh, the other thing to do, I always like to do when I'm buying on the regional market, let's just say, I'm going to buy remotely. I'm going to buy... I don't want interdiction probes. Let's just buy some regular core, core scanner probes. And I'm going to buy these ones because they're the cheapest. I'll start by setting the destination. I can look right here and see that it's in high sec. It's there. And then when I buy them, I'm already set to go get them. So that's the trick to avoid losing it. But first, I've also showed you how to find them if you do lose it. And it's that simple. Uh, to see your toll is. So if I go like this and I go, oh, I'm going to buy them in toll. Right click, location, set destination. Oh, Toll's a high sec system as well, so that's good. I can go there. See if I can find. None of these are going to do it. Missiles. Which missiles? Inferno. Gerper. Location. So, oh, look. I have to go through two low sec systems to get these, so maybe I won't buy those ones. Let's try Jacola. There, that one's in high sec, and it's not that much more expensive. I'll go get those. So just right click. You can set the destination. You can see if it's in low sec. The other option is you can just do this, show info, not on the missiles, but on the location. And it'll tell you right here that Gerper solar system is low sec. So there you go. So that's just a little quick tip on how to not lose and how to find assets as you're using the market and moving things around. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. I want to get that channel up to a thousand subscribers so we can monetize the channel and keep this baby going. And I appreciate all the support I've already got and all the future support going forward. You guys have been great. So thank you, thank you. As always, take care of each other and fly safe. I'm out of here.